have an empties video today. I think these are mostly 2017 empties. Some of them are from January this year and um, most of them though are things that I've collected over 2017. So that means that there's gonna be quite a few products because <laughs> I've been saving them up for a video like this because favorite videos are my favorite to watch. So let's just dive right in and I will talk to you about whether or not I like these things whether or not I will repurchase, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, let's start off with a great dynamic duo. I love the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Um, it's, I don't know, I just, I do really like it. It's very um, rich, creamy, it leaves my body <laughs> smelling like this all day but it's very expensive so i've tried it out with this i think i got it in a sephora favorites kit this size and it, it didn't really last me that long but i was like almost out of it and i knew i really liked the the fragrance of it so i had this little uh, la vanilla body butter and what i ended up doing was just doing like half the amount of this paired with this and they married very well together <laughs> and yeah it just kind of made this last longer this isn't as expensive it is still kind of a pricey cream uh, lotion but it's like has really good ingredients in it and I just found that they work really well together and so I got a bigger size of this and then a bigger size of this now that I'm using and I really like it so that's that a lot of this is going to be skincare, by the way, <laughs> and yeah, some hair care and a few makeup products. So this is the Maycoop Raw Sauce. I absolutely love this. It's an essence, and this was my first kind of introduction to essences when I first started getting into K-Beauty last year, and it was sold at Sephora, so I got this, I think, for like $16 at Sephora, but Sephora no longer carries it, and so I did go ahead and repurchase this, And but I had to repurchase it on Olali, which I love Olali. <laughs> That's a great uh, Korean skincare online company, and I had a coupon too, and so I saved money. I got a big one and a small one for travel. Um, why do I like this? It's just has a wonderful fresh scent to it, but it's it's not strong at all, and it's like a cooling feeling when you just kind of pat it on your face. It's a little bit thicker in viscosity, and it just feels very pampering to my skin, and it made my cheeks and my face feel extra plump and moisturized so it was a great step for um you know introducing me to essences CeraVe hydrating cleanser i really like this cleanser i have another small sample of this it's found at alta or drugstores or you know grocery stores and has great ingredients and it was a great like second cleanse in the nighttime or um, in the morning I used it as a cleanse. It's gentle, it doesn't sting or irritate my skin. And I did, re I think I purchased the full size of this. Uh, I am trying to put together a video or a review or kind of like a how to put together a drugstore skincare uh, routine that is like really good for you still <laughs> and because I know a lot of people don't want to spend all this money on high-end products so anyways this is gonna be in it just a little spoiler alert but okay I'm not gonna go into too much detail about all, everything because we'll be here forever so I'm just gonna do like a bulk a bulk thing about s certain products I have in here all right so these are all of my vitamin C's that I have vitamin C serums this is a Derma E vitamin C. This is Elgenist vitamin C. And this is the Drunk Elephant C from vitamin C. So I really like vitamin C's. I introduced them into my skincare last year. I noticed that um, I have a dark sunspot on my 
cheek over here and I read a lot about vitamin C and how it can help reduce pigmentation in your skin and also be a great protective barrier if you use it in the morning time with your SPF. So I just wanted to try out a bunch of vitamin C's. Unfortunately, these two brands, the Elgenist and Drunk Elephant, they're very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. Um, this one, let's look at what's, let's compare and contrast real quick. Algenist, really great. I really liked the thin, um, it, like the thin consistency of this. Um, the <laughs> one funny thing about it is it does smell like oranges and every time, every time I put this on my face in the morning, my husband would be, <laughs> feel like, I smell oranges. Was well, you smell like oranges? And it was really funny because with these other ones and everything else I wear, he never really comments on anything that I smell like. But when I have this on my face, apparently it just smells like a grove of oranges to him. So I, it doesn't irritate my skin though, and I think it's nice. It's just like $120 for a full size of this. I don't think I'll ever buy that. I don't know. Maybe if I realize that the other ones don't work as well, but. This one is really great, Drunk Elephant. I love the ingredients in this. It's mixed with their marula oil, and I don't really have a lot to say about it. Um, it's It just brightened really well. I'm, I'm Right now I'm working on a Sunday Riley's vitamin C, and I don't know, I just, I'm having a hard time kind of deciding which ones are working best on me. This one does soak in. It leaves my skin feeling bright, but not oily, and I liked that about that. And this Derma E vitamin C, I really like this. And this is Derma E, which is actually a lot more inexpensive compared to the other brands. But the full size version of this has a um, transparent bottle. And so like it's exposed to sunlight. And I just know that that, that actually degrades and kind of really um, doesn't do well with vitamin C. <laughs> Without going into a lot of science, you want to have like an opaque bottle and a pump which is really nice. Uh, I think the Derma E is a pump but it's just um, a transparent bottle. So those are the vitamin C's. I believe all of the vitamin C's I have in, in here. Next we're gonna have a fresh black tea serum. I really liked this serum. It's a firming serum and I've tried a lot of serums and this serum really did feel like it it didn't tighten my skin, like in that like tight feeling, but it absorbed in and it just kind of left my skin feeling just like a lot younger. I don't know, and I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not 30 yet, quite yet, um, but it just felt like an age delay serum. That's what it's called. And I really want a full size, but I think it's like $75. And so I don't think I'll be getting it, but it's a very peculiar bottle if you notice. It's glass, but you, it comes out down here and you squeeze it out and it's just, it was, that was kind of weird. I don't know, I didn't really care for it. I'd rather have it a different way, but I guess it's nice that it was like airtight mostly. So yeah, fresh. <laughs> uh, this is Dr. G's Sensitive BB Cream. I got this, obviously, it's a sample. I don't. I think I got it in a Nipsey bag, and I really enjoyed this. It's just a tinted moisturizer BB cream, it, SPF 30, uh, PA++, and it really blended in with my fair skin tone, and kind of, it didn't rub off or anything throughout the day. I really enjoy this. It's actually in my Derm Store like favorites area. You know how like Ulta and Sephora have favorites that you can add to your favorites. This is in my derm store favorites, so I might someday get it. It is kind of expensive and I'm trying out drugstore BB creams right now, so I'm not going to get it right now, but. And this is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. It's a great cleanser, very mild, kind of similar to the as far as like how it feels on my skin it's similar to the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I like keeping this in my shower because it's a squeeze tube and it's just easy to you don't have to pour anything it just kind of squeezes and when I wash my face in the shower. This is another kind of tinted moisturizer but it's just well it's an SPF um, it's from MD Solar Science SPF 30 mineral tinted sunscreen. I really like this sunscreen in the summertime because it has a darker tint to it. 
uh, no, it, I completely squeezed this one out, but it's a little bit darker on me, so when I have a tan or self-tanner on, I like to use it, but if I use it right now, it would ha kind of have an orange cast on my skin, so I don't like that, and um, it's a matte finish as well, but not like super matte, it's just like mostly matte, <laughs> so I like that. And I bought a full size of it, by the way, so not many have I bought full sizes of, but I did buy a full size of this because there was like a promotion going on on Amazon, and that's how I got it. Okay, this is a, another thing that I got a full size in after trying it. It's the Belief True, True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I really like this cream uh, in the wintertime especially. I like the Aqua Balm in the summertime is what I noticed, but this, and I don't have the empties of the Aqua Balm, but this one I like using in, in the wintertime. It's a good like last step for my nighttime skin routine skincare routine <laughs> and uh, because it just kind of seals in and locks in everything and when you're like sleeping on your pillow I don't know I'm just like feeling like this is kind of like the protective barrier not wiping off all of the other you know nice nutrients that I just put on my skin I will say one thing I do have normal to dry skin and this uh, it <laughs> it doesn't soak in very well and so it, it Sometimes like I wake up and I still feel this on my face and I like need to wash it off like get that tacky feeling and I need to like have a good like wash my face off because it kind of makes my face feel a little bit um, congested but not in an acne way but just kind of like this layer of moisturizer that's on my skin. So yeah, I'm not sure how it works on oily skin but I have a feeling it wouldn't be the best with it but for my dry skin it's really great and I got a full size of it. <laughs> Here is this, oh, I didn't include that. Okay, this is the Sunday Riley um, Vitamin C CEO Bright Radiant Flash Brightening Serum. I got the full size in an Allure Beauty Box, and so I'm trying it out. I, I There's mixed reviews on it, but I really like it. It hasn't broken me out at all, and it's like a creamy white consistency, so the other ones are more of like a yellow or cl like a clearish yellow consist color. This is a white color and um, it's a little bit thicker. I call it more of like a thin moisturizer feeling, but I enjoy it. It leaves me kind of shiny. <laughs> and so I definitely have to put like something on top of it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, the Pixie Glow Tonic. I still have something in there I could get. Oh, I'm not gonna throw this out yet, but. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I really like this. It's a 5% glycolic acid toner. Uh, glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant. And so this, not only after I wash my face, I'll put this on and it will not only kind of tone the face with the acid and exfoliate a little bit, but it actually also helps remove like any, somehow if there's any leftover makeup left on my face it will remove it as well i really enjoy it it was it's not too strong the um ready and go like ones that they have of this they did burn my skin a lot and so i was nervous to try this but um this worked and i i actually just got ren uh, a ren similar to this the brand ren so i won't purchase this quite yet but i will after i've tried my other toners if I like this one better. Yeah, I don't know why that was so hard to spit out. Speaking of Run, this is the Run BB Cream. It's a little tiny thing. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag and I really enjoyed this. It is a dark, was a darker tint. So I think I liked it in the summertime and a little bit went a long way. I kept it in my purse just in case like I went out the door without anything on and I could like slap it on my face while I was at a red light. And so, uh, yeah. I use this up. I don't know if I'll repurchase it because I have other things like it, but it was good while it lasted. <laughs> Another SPF is the Tarte Guard. Whoa! Tarte Guard SPF. Um, this is a cool glass bottle, but this little sample barely had anything in it, and um, I liked it, but it, I don't know, I, it was thicker, 
and um, didn't seem like it soaked in as fast as I would like it to, so it's not my favorite and I will not be repurchasing this. Also, I know that this glass bottle can break. It is nice, kind of feeling that it's glass, but I've seen people accidentally drop it on their bathroom floor and it's broken and all that money's down on the floor. <laughs> okay. Can you tell that I like tinted moisturizers? Because here's another one. I don't wear foundation by the way. So this is what I, I have a lot of tinted moisturizers or tinted SPFs. This is the Drunk Elephant Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This had a lot of shimmer to it and um, I didn't mind it because I, you know, if, if I felt too glowy, then I would just kind of put like a powder down on top of it in certain areas like my big forehead. <laughs> um, but it was actually really nice. It smelled nice. It has like a I don't know, it just has a, a fresh, cooling scent to it, and it felt nice on my skin. It blended out nicely, but um, I think it didn't really work for a lot of people because they didn't like the shimmer to it. I think they reformulated it. Let me know down below if you've tried this since they reformulated it because knowing that it's so, the ingredients are so good in it, I would maybe buy this as opposed to like other ones that I've tried that, you know, the, the ingredients aren't as good. So even though it's probably like a $45 tinted moisturizer or SPF, I may, if I had a coupon or something, may get the full size of this. So let me know if you've tried it and it's not sparkly on your face. Or if it still is, you know, and you like it, then let me know too. <laughs> Okay, I have a bunch of toners here that I'm just gonna quickly go through because this video is gonna be forever long. Um, this is the Cow Shed Chamomile Refreshing Toner. I really liked it. It, ha it was a little stronger than um, like the other toners that I'm about to mention that I've said. I don't know, it had a little bit of a stinging effect but it didn't last very long. This was in a kit that Sephora had, like a K-Beauty kit and uh, they sell it at Sephora, or not Sephora. Did I say Sephora? I meant Ulta. I think this is at Ulta. Cowshed. I don't understand the name of it. <laughs> like, you got some cows in the shed. That's a cool name. I don't know. But it was, a, it was a decent toner, and I think it was pretty affordable. This is the Misha Time Revolution, first treatment essence in the intense version. And I really enjoyed this. I have considered getting a full size of this, although I have a lot of toners that I want to go through. So I, um... I found this hydrating, and it, even though it says an essence, I used it as a toner. So, and this is the Secret Key, the <laughs> the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. My eyes like glitched on me. Secret Key. I don't. I think I got this in a subscription box too. I really enjoyed it. It's a Korean skincare brand. I think you can get it at Walmart and uh, or other places like Amazon and stuff like that. I don't know if. Ulta or Sephora carries this. I don't think they do. So, but I really did enjoy this as well. No singing and it worked really well. Okay. These are my favorite cleansers to take off my makeup. This one is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and it's obviously a mini size. <laughs> uh, I have many of these and I actually bought the full size of this too. It's in a little tub and I completely, you know, scraped it out, but it's just like a really nice balm that I mainly use on my eyes and to take off my mascara and stuff and I just gently have to massage it into my eyelashes and it will get all the mascara off and then I'll kind of bring it around to the rest of my face, but um, for the most part, I just use it on my eyes to take off my mascara and then I'll go in with a second cleanser, which sometimes this is my second cleanser and sometimes it's another thing, but, um, and then I'll like take off the rest of my makeup. This is a Tatcha Pure One Step Cleansing Oil. I absolutely, oh, this is like, oh, I don't know. This is probably one of my favorite <laughs> skincare products and I don't know why, other than whenever I put it on my face, I just feel, it just feels so, nice like the texture and the way it just takes all my makeup off and the smell probably too i've never had a full size of it i've wanted to buy a full size of it many times but i haven't and it says it's a one-step camellia oil cleansing camellia cleansing oil and it so that means that you don't need to actually have a makeup remover so if my don't if i don't have like six layers of mascara on 
If I just have one layer of mascara on, then I'll just, I'll go in with this and just need to just put it on, just use this one cleanser is what I'm trying to say, and it takes everything off. So I do want a second or a full size of this, but I am trying out other cleansers and stuff. So until I'm done with that, I'm trying to be good and not just get things that I don't need right now. I love this. I'm gonna move on to some sheet masks. This is the Leaders Tundra Cranberry Anti-Aging Mask. I there's I actually have two of them here because I did uh, I had a girls' night with my mom, <laughs> and we did them together, and it was really funny, <laughs> just because we we're laughing at each other. And she doesn't do face masks a lot, and so she just thought it was hilarious. I liked them, but they left my skin feeling sticky afterwards, and I didn't like that. And because I. I, yeah, that's pretty much, I just, I liked that they didn't sting, that they fit, stayed on my face, but I just didn't like that I felt sticky afterwards. Um, this is the Skin Food Jellyfish Gel Mask. I like gel masks. This one was just kind of a, it, it kind of felt sticky afterwards, but not too bad. And this one, I actually just tried this morning. This is the Pure Lease Green Tea and Ginger Sheet Mask. This was also a gel-based mask, and this was awesome. Um, I, I wasn't sure how it was gonna be until like, you know, you take it off and then you pat on the serum and it soaked right in and it was just, it left my skin feeling super smooth. I didn't feel like I had to wash anything off. Nothing felt tight. It just felt really smooth and kind of primed for makeup. And I'm really glad that I chose that in the morning. Usually I do masks at night, but it's definitely a good morning mask. Next I have the Sephora Detox It Out Charcoal Swabs. Now, these I have never heard anybody talk about. I happened to find them because I needed three more dollars in my Sephora cart to get the $25, you know, little add-on thing that you can, your coupon code thing. So this was three bucks and it comes with 30 of these charcoal swabs. I have this one. Um, I have more in, my, in where I do my makeup and so what these are you don't use them in your ears They're obviously makeup remover swabs. So they have this They're made of this really neat material and they take off like mascara Smudges and stuff like instantly, but they don't mess up anything else like let so you get it on your eyelid and you already have Your eyeshadow on well, you just have to swipe this Kind of rub it on where the mascara is it kind of like magnetizes somehow to the swab and it doesn't take off any of your eyeshadow but just the mascara it's like a mas mascara seeker and it's it's pretty cool i think it's worth it for three bucks to have these in my little makeup arsenal because i get mascara on my eyelids a little too much or like under or whatever just it really works well for that also works up like um cleaning up your what not waterline it also works on cleaning up your winged eyeliner so i really like those for three dollars i have quite a few of them sometimes they're in stock at sephora a lot of times they're out of stock i don't know why but hopefully they're there right now and they're not like discontinuing them because i really like them speaking of mascara i have a covergirl super sizer mascara and this is just old and so it's not quite empty but well, it's pretty dried up though um I, I liked it when i this was like two years ago that i you know not two years ago that's really old i don't know last year before i had tried other mascaras that this used to be a favorite it kind of made my lashes fan out really nicely and i enjoyed it but i won't be repurchasing it because i have others that are my favorites so the favorite, a <laughs> this is a favorite liquid lipstick. And it's the Buxom Wildly Whipped Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Centerfold. I got this as through Ipsy as well, I believe, and I really like the formula. It was actually my introduction to liquid lipsticks because I never really tried them before, and it stayed on my lips really well. And it was kind of like pillowy feeling. It didn't suffoc like really you know my lips like that it just kind of made sat on my lips nicely i think it may have dried down mostly but i don't think i like would kiss my kids and 
because it would like come off on their face <laughs> but if I was going out or something I would wear this and it's a great color for me too I think I have another I have another sample size of this too but yeah uh, kind of just so you know why do I do sample sizes because I like trying a bunch of products out and they're a lot more affordable and sometimes it's a better deal to get the sample sizes just a little side note that's why these are all samples <laughs> this is the polish choice Daily Smoothing Treatment 5% AHA Exfoliant. This is a chemical exfoliant that I really enjoyed. It's kind of a, it's their 5%. I also am trying out their 8% AHA. And this kind of is like Sunday Riley. It's um, good jeans, but uh, it's, yeah, I would, I compared it pretty well to the Sunday, ooh, it's gross, sorry. It, that's the one thing I didn't like about this. <laughs> it gets, kind of gross and the acid actually eats away at like the plastic that it's in. So I'm sure the full size is probably has a better way of that all working out, but I use it all up and I just don't want to show you like a close up of it being gross, but I really enjoy this. It's a lot more affordable than the Sunday Riley Good Jeans and it had great ingredients and it worked well as far as like uh, smoothing out the like small bumps on my face and stuff. and kind of doing that top layer of exfoliating. So I will be repurchasing this when I need to. Right now I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of other AHAs and exfoliators, but I do really like this one. And it smelled like like citrusy, lemony. So I like that too. I think that's like a natural smell because Good Jeans smells like that too to me. Okay, next air, <laughs> next is the two Biosense Nourisher Rose Face Oils. These were amazing. I got these, one of them as a free sample. You just go on Biosense website and you can like sign up to get this and their squalene oil for free. Just these little sample size and it lasts me quite a bit. I use this at night. It smelled like a faint hint of roses and let me just smell it again. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, it smells like a, a like roses a little bit, but I think it's derived from rose rose oil. So um, it definitely felt nourishing, and I really enjoyed it. I have a lot of other serums that I like, so I don't know if I would purchase it, but maybe down the road I might. So yeah, definitely definitely worth you know paying shipping to try this out. All right, my favorite lip balm is the Jack Black lip balm. This you can find at Sephora, Derm Store, and Ulta, and I got, I like this so much that I bought like a four pack, because it's a better deal when you get a four pack. It's my favorite nighttime lip balm. It um, is thicker, it, it's kind of like a sleeping mask lip balm, I guess you could say, or if you use it during the day, it just kind of stays on your lips for a while. You don't need a whole lot, it lasts a long time, and I've tried a lot, a lot of lip balms, and this is my favorite. It also has the SPF of 25, so I've heard it's good like for even like um, snowboarding and skiing and stuff like that, keeping on your lips. Oh, another drunk elephant. <laughs> uh, this is a Marc Jacobs mascara, the Velvet Noir. Mm, no, this is not Velvet Noir. This is the Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara. Yeah, mascara. Uh, I didn't like this as much as like the Velvet Noir. That's a, um, I don't know. It was okay, but not my favorite. It didn't really do much for my lashes. This is a little mini Gimme Brow in the shade one, and I really enjoy this. I have a couple of these, but I also like the dupes that are out there, so I don't think I'll be giving uh, Give Me Brow. It's a brow mascara if you've never used it, or I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> um, but I really like the like Essence three dollar brow mascara that is you know just like this. So this is I think fifteen dollars or something like that. Whereas Essence is four, so I'll be you know sticking with Essence. I have two shampoos: Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. So I didn't really care for these. Plain and simple. I don't know. I heard good things about it. I wanted my hair to, you know, get some nutrients in it and stuff. I had I found this like a little kit, um, plus like a little little 
um, foil of their deep conditioner. And it's, I just didn't really, I didn't feel like it did anything. I, I like other shampoos better. It's the body wash, the raw sugar, raw coconut and mango body wash. I got this in the Target subscription box and I really like this. It just smells like sugar when you, you're in the shower and it has good lather and it has great ingredients in it. Um, I, if, after I'm done testing out other <laughs> ones, I may go to the, this because I think this is, you know, sold at Target and not very expensive at all. So definitely recommend it. My favorite tinted moisturizer right now is the Laura Mercier Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is in the shade Nude and it works really well. I, I have it on right now and it's kind of my go-to. Like I'll go, I'll use other ones, other tinted moisturizers and stuff, but if I know I'm gonna be filming or you know, going out somewhere where I'm gonna be out all day, then I will use this because it's kind of my uh, holy grail or my tried and true. So I actually just bought a full size of this the other day and it's coming in the mail, I think later today. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, last, last two things are these two little uh, oils. This one is a Julep Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Cleansing Oil. And this smelled like lemons and it had a great thicker consistency. I like my cleansing oils to be thicker. Uh, I've tried the, what's it called? Derma E Rose Oil one and I didn't like it. It was too thin, but this one, was thicker and I really enjoyed the smell and it worked really well. It didn't irritate my eyes. So I just tried the sample last, I think three nights or something that I used it. And yeah, I really enjoyed this a lot. And then this is the Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. <laughs> this, little, this little thing, I think it actually lasted, lasted me, you know, for a while because I tried it out and I, I heard from Stephanie Nicole to mix it with the moisturizing balm. And so I did that and I really liked it. I really do like this oil. It's in my Sephora loves list. So someday maybe, but I enjoyed it while it lasted. <laughs> so that is everything. I know this was a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great time you know, getting to know me and the things that I went through and stuff. Um, I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite things are, what you have emptied and what you're throwing away these days. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. There will be more empties, not this long because I'm going to do probably like a quarterly month or not. Yeah, a quarterly empties instead of a whole year. And so it probably won't be this long at all. So that is everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed. I know it was long, so thank you for sticking with me and I hope you have a great day. See you next time, bye.